more turmoil in British politics as the Tory government continue to be all over the place. At the same time, the Labour Party have decided to suspend one of their own branches in Leicester. I, I can't. I cannot take either of the two main parties seriously anymore. The, the Conservatives are just, just completely given up, <laughs> not just on governance, but on actually being a normal political party. The Labour Party, this one is interesting. <laughs> oh, the Labour Party, they want us to believe that they are ready to be in government. But are they ready with that stupid rosette and stupid colours and stupid party leader? stupid policies so we now have a situation where the labor party um, constituency in leicester east where claudia webb is the mp4 oh dear has now been suspended they've shut down the whole party everyone's been kicked out everyone's just been completely banned labor is banned in leicester east for now for the time being while they do investigation over certain allegations let's not forget claudia webb who's a bit of a dodgy character as an MP anyway. Do you remember who she replaced as the MP for the, for the area? Yeah, it was Keith. Oh, Keith Vaz. Oh, that was another beauty, wasn't it? Uh, so this is what we're dealing with now. So all we know from the story so far is this, that in the run up to the May election, local elections, the Labour Party suspended 19 of their sitting councillors from standing provoking allegations that uh, black, Asian and minority ethnic candidates had been unfairly targeted. It is understood that the party's decision to suspend the constituency Labour Party in Leicester came after it was presented with claims that meetings had been unfairly organised to support a particular faction. I thought the Labour Party was now this... Uh very tolerant, progressive, liberal party where everybody's welcome, all people with different skin colours and the, all the millions of genders and everything, right? And everybody's nice because identity politics is lovely. Uh, no, no, no. There are a bunch of nasty people with factions. Factions. It's like a video game for them. And the Labour source confirmed the suspension, saying that uh, the national executive has a duty to safeguard the integrity of the constituencies uh, to ensure that they are properly run in line with the party's rules and procedures and can operate fully, inclusively and democratically. Mm -hmm. This whole thing comes amid claims from senior figures in Leicester that the constituency remains a... Uh, uh, under the influence of Keith Vaz, the former Europe minister who stepped down as a candidate in 2019 after being caught in the tabloid uh, sting offering uh, to acquire co cocaine for sex workers. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, I think you can still call it charity work um, if you actually pay for the cocaine. Because you could say, wait, I'm, I'm just being charitable, giving the cocaine to sex workers instead of getting them to pay for it. I'm, I'm being very generous. It, it's charity work. Come on, guys. Have some compassion. <laughs> oh, our members of parliament. So, Keith Vaz, and then you've got Claudia Webb, who's also dodgy. Uh, I don't think she buys cocaine for sex workers. Uh, I don't know what she does. And the Labour Party are suspending their own party in different areas. So, lovely. I mean, I'm really looking forward to the next general election. It's going to be exciting. Let me know your thoughts in the comments section on my 2 c And we are the media.